Hi, I'm Bill Myers, and this is another one of my video tips of the week. In this week's video tip, we're going to take a quick look at Movie Studio Platinum 13, which is a new release of Movie Studio from Sony Vegas. Now, for those of you who've used previous versions of Movie Studio, when you start Movie Studio 13, you're going to be in for a shock. Sony has decided to change the entire layout, to change all the icons, to change the placement of the features that you're probably used to seeing, and they've also changed the menu. Now what you're seeing on the screen here is what you'll initially see when you start Sony Vegas Movie Studio 13. First thing you'll notice are these pop-up help buttons. These pop-up bubbles try to explain what the new icons are and what the new features are. For example, you now have Add Media instead of Import Files. One of the things you probably notice right away is that some of the things that you're used to seeing on the screen are missing. And that's because Movie Studio 13 actually has two versions built into one. When you start, it's going to start in the simple version, and that's what you see on the screen here. And you can click a button and go to the advanced version. Now, if you're looking for lots of new features in Sony Vegas Movie Studio 13, you're not going to find them. What you're going to find is basically the changed layout. And from what I hear, the layout has been changed to make it easy to edit on touch screens. I've got this on a 24-inch monitor, and I can't say that I'd want to use this on a touch screen. Some of the things you're going to notice that are different are this new line down here that has controls for normal fade, add effects, pan crop, trim, start, trim, in, split, and auto rip. Before these things used to be in a, in a drop down menu or you could just do them on screen. Also you notice that in the preview window that now has the play controls under the preview window instead of around the timeline like it did before. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually load a project and when you want to load a project you probably want to close the bubbles when you do that by clicking this X up here. And I'm going to load a project that I created in the previous version of Sony Movie Studio. It's a chroma key project, and you can see the chroma key still works in Sony Vegas Movie Studio 13. It does a good job, works just as good as previous versions, maybe even a little bit better. Now, again, we're looking at the simple mode. In the simple mode, you'll notice that the icons here for effects and for pan and crop are now changed. The colors are changed. The placement have changed. It may take you a bit of time to get used to that if you're using a previous version. You also know that there are different things here, like a trim event start. These weren't there before. And there are some other things that you may see on the screen that weren't there before. And again, it will be a shock if you've been using previous versions of Sony Vegas or Sony Vegas Movie Studio. Now let's go look at the advanced version. We click the button, and you see the screen changes just a little bit. And when it changes a little bit, we get our tabs back that have our Project Media Explorer transitions and media generators. Again, the playback bar is now under the preview window instead of over by the tracks. I don't know if I like this or not. And some of the menu options are now hidden. One of the things that I don't like, for example, is the media generator. If you select media generator and titles and text, it brings up the titles and text. But even on a 24-inch monitor, these are difficult for me to see. I actually like the legacy text generator better. I find it produces nicer looking text and it's easier to use. But you can see that Everything is designed for touch screen, and for those of us who edit with uh, a mouse on a large screen monitor, I'm not so sure that this is a good move on Sony's part. One thing that Sony left in is most of the transitions, also most of the video effects. And they may have re-added some of the video effects that were in version 10, which is one of the better versions of Sony Vegas Movie Studio. I personally prefer the layout that I use in Sony Vegas Movie Studio 10. And the good news if you, is you can go up to Options, and you can go to Preferences, and you can go to Display, and you can get rid of the Sony Vegas color scheme, which is this gray color scheme. And you can also display the timeline at the top of the window rather than the bottom of the window, which may make editing easier. And you can change the position of tabs, so you can get back mostly to the look of the previous versions of Sony Vegas Movie Studio. For those people who've already got a version of Sony Vegas Movie Studio that they like, it may not be a good idea to quickly jump into Movie Studio 13 unless you're using a touchscreen monitor. There are no major new enhancements to Movie Studio 13 except for the ability to edit 4K video files, and most of us don't have 4K video cameras yet, so it's not something we really need. Anyway, I thought you might be interested in seeing this. This is the new Sony Vegas Movie Studio 13. This is what the screen looks like in advanced mode, and this is what it looks like in simple mode. I'm Bill Myers. This has been another one of my video tips of the week. You can find more like this at www.bmyers.com.